Hey everyone, I'm going to film my haul for November. It will include my Black Friday purchases. I only bought two things, so you're going to see those. Um, I didn't go crazy because I didn't really need anything. I did buy pillowcases too, but they weren't on sale for Black Friday. And they weren't anything special. They were just uh, like a light blue jersey pillowcases I got at Target. And that was it. I bought things for other people, not for me. So, um, let's go on. I have the prices on my phone, so. First, we'll go with Kohl's. You can go into mess in the background if you can see it. Um, yeah, this is what my studio looks like when I am at the end of the semester <laughs> and haven't cleaned the whole semester. But anyway, I got, first I got these Ponte pants. And they were like seven something, but I had a coupon uh, for like $10 off of something. So they ended up being like three because I bought other things too. And they're an extra small, tall. They were the only ones they had. They were not really that long though. They're not like extra long. The red apartment nine, those gray color, and they have like this textured thing down the side. You guys can see that. They're very cute and great for the price. Um, they do fall down a little bit during the day, though, unfortunately, which happens to me with all leggings. Um, I can't seem to find a pair that stays on. I don't know why. But this pair is pretty good. Um, there's no pilling on them yet. I had a pair like this from Apartment I before and it was pilling after one wear. So I'm glad these aren't. Next, I got these jeans for $4 because I had, I think, it was a 5 or $10 coupon. I don't remember. But these were on clearance. Let me zip them up for you. These are just a size 5. The red, the brown, and red, and they're high rise jeans. They're just dark wash skinny. They're kind of stretchy and the pockets look like this. Very nice. I wore these once. Um, they're comfortable, so. And then one of my Black Friday purchases, I did go to Kohl's. Um, it was actually on Thanksgiving, but yeah. But here's what they look like. They're like candies. I got them in a size 9. They actually are very comfortable. Um, I don't know what I got on my boot, though. Part of it's a gray already. But the only thing is, there was like glue. You can see the glue here. But um, it's not a big deal. And they're just brown. They have the red zipper on the back and low. Like a small, kind of boot. They're shorter than a combat boot. Um, and I wanted like a lighter brown because they have darker brown pair. So, of combat boots. So I got these because uh, I wanted some new boots. And those were on sale for $29.99 from $69.99. And then I had a $10 off coupon. And then I had 15% off plus my associate discount. So I ended up being like 15 something. It's a pretty good deal. I've been wanting them since we got them in and they've been like 50 bucks. I'm like, no, I'm not spending 50 bucks. Okay, next is this, which I would not recommend. They're very cheap, but they pill like crazy. Even before I washed this, while I was wearing it, it was pilling. And I've washed it and I shaved it, I shaved it down with like a sweater shaver and it still looks bad so i'm probably only gonna get like one more wear out of this before it's trash um it's very soft but it was only they were on sale for 5.99 um and then when my discount everything was like four dollars so i'm not gonna complain over four bucks but i wouldn't get these they're slightly cropped they're cropped, cropped like a weird area like they show the love handle and that's it um, they're by the very mud. I got them in medium. There's a ton of different patterns everything. They look really cute, but they pill really bad. And that's just that behind me. Then I have this. I haven't worn this. Everything else I've worn in this haul. This is by Vera Wang, and I paid six bucks, but I used a gift card, so. And it was $8.80 for everyone else. Um, this is this gray tank. It's a medium in the midst of this, so it is big, but I've been wanting it, so I got it anyway. And it's just like, flowy, and it has this like cut on the side, and then the back is sheer, and it has like this pleat up here. It's a really nice tank top. I just haven't worn it yet, because I bought it like two days ago, or three days ago. This is another thing I don't recommend. I also bought that same day with my gift card. Um, I was once it started pilling. I put it in the washer. It's even worse. 
It's a really cute hoodie though, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna wear it a few more times, but this is what it looks like. It's got floral pattern on it, and they're like 16 bucks online, but this one, and there was a white one, and those were eight, and every, the other ones were 16 for some reason. So I got this in a large, because that's what they had, it's by the brand Takeout. I mean, it's really cute, but the material's soft too, but it's awful. This, you're not going to be able to find, but I'll show you guys anyway. It's just a dress by Lauren Conrad. It's not small. From the missus. And the back looks like this. You guys can never see it. The front, it looks, kind of looks like that um, hoodie I just showed you. It's like a knit sweater material. And it has velvet flowers and chiffon tulle skirt. And this was 90% off. It was 6 bucks. Something like that. It was crazy. A little bit big, but I don't care. I was looking for a burgundy dress forever. Next. This dress is also pilling. I don't know what's with these horrible materials. But this was from Target. And this was $12 I got in a small by the brand Exhilaration. I actually like it better this way. And it doesn't look like it's the back, but this is the back. And this is the front. And the area where it's getting the pilling is this black part that you guys can see. I really like the color of this dress though, and I'm gonna wear it. Oh, the whole thing is pilling actually a little bit. But again, it was only 12 bucks. I don't expect it to last forever, but it really sucks. But anyway. And this was $5? $3. $3. I don't remember it being $3, but I guess I got a discount or some sort. Um, but yeah, this is pilling as well, but not really bad. Just a baseball tee. It's gray with a, like a red sleeve, three-quarter sleeve. And it's an extra small from Verona. Then I have... Oh, this is the last thing I bought. I haven't worn this yet. Um, I got it the other day when Target was having their 40% uh, off. It wasn't Black Friday. Um, I just got it yesterday. And they still had the 40% off, so it was the day after. Um, but this is medium, and it's by the brand Mossimo Supply Company, and it's just a marled sweater, and I think it was like 12 bucks, and it's got this black lining, and it's a nice heavier cardigan, so it's really nice, I like that one a lot. Um, next I have some things from Aeropostale, because they had their 30% off friends and family sale a few weeks ago. Got a few things. I got these jeans. How much were they? They were five fifty. I got them in size four. They're by Bethany Moda, and they're super high rise. I really like them. A uh, story that happened with these is they never put them in my bag. I purchased them. I got home. I went to put my clothes, um, take off the tags, and put them in my laundry. And I'm like, where are my jeans? So I freaked out, I drove back to the mall, which usually closed at 6, and I got there at 6.40 something, and they were still open. I don't know if they were just open for the employees, but there was a security guard in the front. I'm like, they didn't put my jeans in my bag at Aeropostale, I'm going to go get them. So I ran the Aeropostale, their thing was closed and everything, so the um, security guard uh, asked the people to... Um, got their attention for me, and they had the jeans waiting for me, so anyway, I did get them. They're super high rise, like a light wash, lighter medium wash, and the back looks like this. I'm not really in love with the back detail. Those aren't any pockets there. There aren't any pockets there, but um, they're really cute though. And for $5.50, that's a great deal. They were like original like 50 bucks, which I would never spend 50 bucks on jeans. But anyway. This is nice, and this is super soft. It also is peeling slightly, but it's not bad, and it was really cheap anyway. It was $2.50. I mean, it's not something I'm going to wear for the rest of my life anyway. It's cropped, long sleeve, burgundy shirt with daisies on it. Next, I really like this, actually. It's a heavier sweater, because I don't really own many because I live in South Florida. And it's uh, also by Bethany Moda. The other one was Mars. What was it called? Mac to Mars. This is by Bethany Moda, and this was $6. It's just a navy and burgundy sweater. And it's got a little opening in the back. I wore that to work once. It was really cute. I got this sweater, which I don't think is pilling at all. 
surprisingly, because it's the um, material is really soft. It's by Tokyo Darling. I added in a medium, and this just has a rabbit on it. It's really cute. And this was $5.50 as well. And then I got this cardigan, which is similar to my burgundy striped one I got at Kohl's, but it's a little bit thinner. And it's by Charlotte Russe, and it's a size medium. And this thing freaking gets caught on everything. Like, every single thing pulls string on it like there's already like 10 strings out it's like 10 pool in this at least by now but it's super cute and it's very soft and it's just a like grayish black color and a cream or white i got this in a medium and that was ten dollars mm -hmm. last thing i bought this is 20 bucks from macy's i bought on uh black friday as well and this is in intense brown it's by the brand rampage Here's the box if you guys want to see it. I don't have the boots in the box anymore though. The only thing I would say about these is you need an insole. Like they are so uncomfortable. I need to get a proper insole for them. They uh, have no padding. Those candy boots were fine, but these are god awful. Even with the insoles I had. Um, the bottoms are really good because they're slip resistant pretty much which I like because I run around a lot of work and I do like to wear these to work. There are some glue seams, um, but you do need insole with these. I need to get a better insole. Um, I bought one at Target, but I'm going to return it because it didn't fit quite right into the boot. So yeah, that's what they look like. And it's only got a half step on the other side, which I wish were the fulls. But yeah, they're not worth more than $20. Like, I mean, they, they made them seem like they're a great deal, but the ones I have from Poles were better. The So brand, I should have got those for 20 bucks. The only thing with those is, um, cause they're kind of really soft, the leather tends to peel very quickly. So I'm hoping this one can have a piece, but I don't wear brown boots that much. So that's why I got two uh, not so expensive pairs. But anyway, that is what I bought for the month of November and yeah, I spent a lot of money. I spent 93 and I also had a $25 gift card to Kohl's, so um, I spent more than 100 overall. But, oh, last Friday I got deals at Michael's. I don't know if you guys can see all the campuses, you probably can't. I spent $140 at Michael's on Thursday and then another $40 at Michael's on Saturday because uh, campuses are more important than anything else me at least but anyway that's it thank you guys for watching and i'm very tired um i'm gonna go get some stuff done and probably sleep but yeah see you guys later